No matter if you manufacture single parts or larger series, all options are open to you. Almost any machine tool can be automated. As already mentioned in the last video, today we would like to take a look at automation solutions from Lang Technic. Starting with linear guided handling systems originally, we are now working with industrial robots and have been a very experienced and reliable supplier in machine tool automation for more than 15 years. A quick fact to prove this, we have now installed over 600 automation systems worldwide. My colleague Giuseppe will focus today on the purpose with which we have developed Robotrex. Thank you very much, Marlene. From the very beginning, when we started developing our automation systems, our focus was on storing as many clamping devices as possible in a small footprint. We also put a lot of emphasis on the fact that the systems are really easy to operate, so that we don't need or tie up highly qualified personnel here, and that everyone can operate this machine or automation. We only have two types of robots that we use in our automation systems, based on the size and weight of the work holder. Robotrex 52 uses a robot with a payload of 20 kilograms or 44 pounds, which can transport work pieces up to 12.5 kilograms or 27.6 pounds after subtracting the weight of the gripper and vise. Robotrex 96 can handle workpiece weights of 25 kilograms or 55 pounds, excluding the vise. Let's now talk about all the options that you may select depending on the needs and tasks you have in the production. By default, you are able to define a start and stop position in the system. I'd like to give you two examples which this is good for. If you have processed five workpieces with automation in the morning and want to switch to manual operation to machine a single part in between, you can use the stop function after part five and right away continue in the afternoon starting with part number six. Or you want to do quality control on part seven, you just put the stop here. To automate tall parts that extend into the next row, rows can be deselected on the trolley. The robot then simply skips these rows. You can do the same with parts overhanging to the left and right. Robotrex also provides the possibility for single part production. In this case, you can assign a specific program to each part and also set priorities. This means that you can freely define the order in which the parts are processed. This gives you all the possibilities, from a flexible single part production to manufacturing entire batches. The installation is tailored to the specifics of the machine. Loading the machine tool from the side is always the preferred option, as it leaves the machine door free. Opposite of that, with many machines there is often only the possibility of loading through the front door. However, this is not an issue, because the space between the automation and the machine is big enough for the operator to do his usual work in front of the machine. Let's talk about the automation trolley. With this concept, you have the great advantage of having all work-holding devices at hand. It eliminates the oftentimes very time-consuming process to call up specific pallets from a rack or shelf system. With Robotrex, this is different. Everything is in front of you, and vices can remain on the trolley for quality control or workpiece exchange. Having to remove vices from the trolley would especially be problematic when the total weight of the vice plus workpiece is very heavy. With Robotrex, the vices can be changed over directly on the trolley. This saves time and the energy required to move the workpieces or the vices from one place to another. For the Robotrex 52 and 96, we differentiate in the size of the workholding devices. Our zero-point clamping system has two grid dimensions, the 52 grid and the 96 grid. Also, it should be mentioned that you can prepare a trolley completely offline while machine and automation are running. An employee can quickly feed a prepared trolley to the system shortly before the end of his day, and production continues non-stop. Now, let's move on to the vices. Robotrex 52 uses vices with jaw widths of 77 or 46 millimeters. Robotrex 96 uses vices with 125 millimeter or 77 millimeter jaw width. However, a gripper change option means that the small vices can also be used. The big advantage is that the interface for the gripper is integrated directly in the vise. 
Therefore, the robot does not have to transport unnecessary weight and no space is wasted for an additional pallet. There is even the option of inserting this interface into your own pallets or fixtures. By that, you could then also use two vices on one pallet, depending on requirements. The limit here is the 50 kilogram, 110 pound payload of the robot. Our automation can be installed as a two or four trolley system, depending on the demand and the quality of parts to be automated. This gives you a maximum of 168 vices stored in a small footprint. Robotrex can do it all. Whether you are producing individual parts, processing small batches, or even larger batches, from the smallest parts to larger parts, all options in almost every machine can be automated. If you have any questions about Robotrex or automation in general, we would be happy to hear back from you, whether in the comments, by email, or by phone. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, we would of course appreciate a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you won't miss any more videos.